Hi guys, so today we are going to see that how we can use an asset from the asset library. It's called Cinematic Glow by Ghostbooky named Max Von Leuven and how we can implement it in our own project and get a cinematic glow kind of a look uh, for our scene. Uh, so for that, we will have to just quickly have a simple setup uh, by getting it imported in our own project, Cinematic Glow, and I'll just quickly import it in our scene and we see a few errors apparently so first of all i'll show you what my scene initially was i tap on the screen i this ghost animates uh right uh this was a simple scene setup so cinematic glow enables uh how you can add a glow it, so it comes with a few uh scene objects which we see scene example delete uh, it has torus and a triangle which has a colorful glow material Actually, this material is the key for using this shader in our project, uh, which I'll come to later. But first of all, we have to use the instructions that have been showing in our error. So it says that create a new render target and view it in the scene config panel. So we'll just quickly create a new render target. And uh, it says that this will be the final live or capture render target of a lens plus glow. Okay. So I'll just quickly rename it for now. It will be called render target plus uh, glow. And uh, I'll just view it in the scene config panel. I'll just add it in our capture target and also in the live target. So capture target is basically what we get after the video has been captured using the lens. And live target is what we see during the experience that we are doing on the lens. Uh, so we can have it render completely different things. Uh, depending on what the render target is uh, the next step says that uh, we will be assigning that render target in the script under the composite target so we will have to go to the cinematic glow object there is a composite target input i'll just drag and drop my render target over there so the next step says that we have to assign this main camera and i'll just drag and drop my camera which is rendering the scene and I can see everything is working in the preview window. All of these objects have a cinematic glow, which looks very good and all. But uh, once I put it on my device, it won't be the scene. So I'll just quickly send it to my snapshot. So as you can see, um, there is cinematic bloom applied, but only to the example objects right here. Like there is a bloom going on, but uh, nothing in my scene has that glow effect. So it is not. So let's see how we can fix this uh, and make it working in our own scene. So we will just quickly go and see how they might have implemented it. Cinematic glow script is not the only thing that is affecting the bloom. It is actually the material that is the culprit over here. So I'll just quickly highlight it and open it in a material editor. As you can see, there is a simple node setup where we have like uh, animated colors multiplied to a strength and there is a shader which we cannot copy. In lens studio so if we copy it gives me an error so what we'll do is we'll use this colorful glow material itself as a template right now it has almost no parameters right so we will just duplicate it and we will as we have seen our uber pbr material uh, this is the uber pbr material we have a lot of inputs that we can give base color base texture etc so we'll just open it in the graph editor we see that there is a very complex node setup going on if you might not have opened graph editor uh, we'll not worry about it and if we open the colorful glow material i'll just quickly rename it uh, to glow ghost material right uh, so that again not to get confused and we'll be editing this material in the graph editor later so that we can get all those uh, uber pbr material inputs so what we'll do is we'll copy the node setup completely till the pbr shader that we see here because we cannot copy the actual shader so we'll copy it till this node and we will paste it in our template object so i'll just go to the ghost glow material and zoom out a little and just paste it somewhere around oops i think I think we have uh, pasted it somewhere in the bottom so what i'll do is i'll instead copy all those nodes and bring it in the right side since we have to use this specific shader only uh, instead of the other normal shader um what we can see is this shader node has a comment which says put the glow colors in the color target one so whatever we want in our material to be rendered as a glow uh, we will add it as a color target one input so and we can put the color target zero 
uh, input as anything else which will render normally so we'll just put the base color as like the uh, output and delete these nodes because we don't need them and uh, this will give us a normal material and i want only the emission layers to be rendered as glow so i'll just intercept it i will take the input from this emission uh, input and give it to the color target one so now what will happen is only the emission layers will get the glow so i'll just quickly go into my mesh and uh, select this material wherever i have pushed it where was it example ghost glow material yes so now it will work as it is but if you see there are no textures applied to it so it is showing some checkerboard i'll just quickly populate this uh, add my textures that were there in the base color and uh, i'll just quickly add a normal map and uh, also uh, material params um yeah so yeah now as you can see nothing has changed we are not seeing any glow because there is no emission right we have no emissive texture so i'll just quickly add base color as its emission texture i am just going to add this and now let's see how it looks so yeah everything is glowing right now it has i'll just drop the emission right for now i'll add a rim light because i had a rim light in my materials uh, i'll just give it a red color uh, this is what i want i'll just increase the exponent so that i can get the effect that i want here and i am getting a good input output in my scene which was expected i can also change the values according to my uh, requirement if i increase the intensity to a little bit so that i get a glow from the body the white part as well uh this is this looks fine to me i can change the value later however i want right now my scene is clustered with the scene sample objects right so i'll just quickly delete them because we don't need it we've already used our uh shader so if i reset the scene you can see that everything is glowing in the preview window as normal but if you see this tap on screen 3d text won't be rendered as a glow glowing material uh, because we have not used this shader for its text 3d material the point of this asset is we will have to make our own custom materials using this shader uh, for whatever scene objects we want to use so right now i have a uber ppr material made with this shader so i can just duplicate the ghost glow material and use it for some other uh, scene objects that use a uber ppr material but if i want the text object to have uh, a glow so we will have to make our own material uh, which uses that node setup similarly we did for uber pbr inputs right we made a material for uber pbr we have to make it for other materials as well just ka bhi node setup we want to copy and uh, this is how we can work we will use that shader specifically so if you want to customize your cinematic glow even more you can just click over here and uh, go to the cinematic glow renderer highlight it in your resources and just change these settings play with them however you like uh, whatever effect you like on it and that's about it this was the tutorial make your own materials which have like the old input parameters as other material and has this shader to glow it like magically just like this so i've reset it i'll just quickly save the project and i will see you in the next one